covering. And <clears throat> we want to take you uh, take a little time with you to share with you about doing the Passover, the Passover meal, or the, or the um, communion service that Yeshua did. Uh, we have we use an organic wine. The one we use is our daily bread. It has no sulfites in it. Uh, my wife is much more knowledgeable on those things than I am, but we use that. We have a uh, regular communion cup, but you can use any type of uh, cup you would like. I know some people prefer to use multiple cups. Uh, I like the fact that Yeshua used one and they passed around use the same cup. We also use uh, the olive oil. It is extra virgin olive oil. It is unfiltered, um, and if, I, if I remember right, cold pressed as well. And the olive oil is going to be very, very little that we use in that. The important thing, though, in this case here, because we're making the communion bread. How do you make communion bread? We use an all-purpose flour. Now, I prefer uh, to use 100% organic. It's unbleached, and I just think that's better to do that. Now, what we will also need... is spring water. So we're going to need a little bit of water in order to be able to make the flour into um, a, little, a little dough piece there. Uh, we have on the stove here a cast iron skillet because you can make it on the stove. I'll probably use a smaller burner here. Uh, I've already cleaned the counter. The ca counter was already cleaned. We cleaned the day before uh, Shabbat. And, um, So what we'll do here is we're going to put just a little bit of flour and, and really the size of the bread that you make is going to depend on how much flour you use because what you don't use, it is required that you burn it before, uh, before uh, the, 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 sun, the, the sun sets there. I'm also going to get my hands floured up so it doesn't stick. Okay, let's add a little bit of water, very, very little. And a little spoon here. So that we can make a little um, little cake out of it. A little bit more water. And we're using spring water. You could use spring watered, filtered water. Just whatever works best for you. Kind of mix this up like into a dough. And then um, again, I, I put flour on my hands and put a little bit of flour on there. You sisters are probably better at this than I am. And my wife wasn't feeling too good today, so she didn't, she's not able to be in here with us, or she'd be right here with me. Um, so I've made a small ball because um, th those of here that will be participating in communion here, there's just a few of us here today. Then we'll put a little bit of flour on the counter here so we don't, so it doesn't stick. And then um, put a little flour on our wheel here. Now, I mean, you guys already know about all this anyway. And I'm going to kind of make it very thin so it'll, so it'll cook very easily. And um, and once you've got your, your dough made out, you want to take a small portion of that, and I need a knife. Um, I'm just gonna make cut out a square out of that so that I can make it from there. Now, the oil, and you don't wanna use any more oil than you absolutely have to. Um, so I'm just gonna put just a little tiny bit in there as so I'll just barely a little bit. And then I'll use a napkin here. And I'll uh, use a napkin to kind of spread the oil around. All you're doing is just enough to where it doesn't stick to the pan here. And then we'll go ahead and get the uh, temperature going up on that. The excess here we'll discard of. 
once it gets hot in there, well, then we'll take and we'll place the bread upon it. The flour is done. I purposely actually do not make it round. I don't want to be look like we're Catholics that worship the sun god, so I, I do not want the kosher bread to be round. Um, so I guess the shape doesn't really matter other than that, but that's just that's just me. So anyway, all right, so this will cook, and uh, you can bake it in the oven, or you can do it this way either way. And then once it is uh, completed there, then uh, you'll place it on a plate there, which we'll do here in just a moment. Okay, once we, uh, once your bread is done, it's, it, it really, you'll be surprised, it's very hard to make this bread done. It's one reason why I use a rolling pin to roll it out, because you want it as thin as possible so it cooks, so you don't end up eating raw bread. Um, we place it on a, a plate. Uh, we prefer to have one dedicated unto the Lord, uh, something that we use only for this particular service in the Passover. Then you want to take... Uh, for your communion wine, whichever one that you've chosen to use. And there again, the wine that we use, we don't want to use it for any other purpose. Uh, so if you're, I know in the, uh, Europe, the customs for drinking wine is more common and, and more prevalent than it is in America. Uh, so if you happen to be in another part of the world where you partake in wine as a regular type of thing with your meals, um, then buy a bottle of wine that is specifically for your communion service that you don't uh, mix that with anything else. And once you have that, you're ready. You have your kosher bread. Uh, it's thin, it's cooked, and uh, it is ready. And again, it's not the literal body of Yeshua. It represents his body. And one of the things that we will do when we actually participate in this later this evening at 7 o'clock when we pick it up, we will actually break the bread and give it to one another. That's why you use one piece of bread and not little crackers because his body was broken for us. And so everything we do, we try to remember the way he did it because he took the bread and he broke it and he passed it to each one of his disciples and they partook. The same thing with the wine. He supped from the cup and he passed it to his disciples and they each one supped from the cup. Um, anyway, God bless you, and I hope you enjoy the communion service this evening at 7 p.m. Again, if you want to catch us on live, on live stream, all you have to do is go to our website, israelreturns.com, and f scroll down the page. You'll find the link in there uh, for the live stream. If you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner of that link, there's a little thing that lets you know more about or to see more of live stream. You'll see you can click on that. That takes us to our live stream page. At the top right hand corner, you'll see a red button that says follow. You can click on that and you'll be able to get the updates when we're running live, uh, live programs and to be a part of that and join with us on live stream. I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Danoon Institute of Biblical Research. God bless you. Shalom and Shabbat Shalom.